Yo guys, what's going on? Tenebris here, and today I'm going to be showing everyone how to detect the new Time Changer Misplaced by Dugues. Uh, so the old version of this actually uh, would have a string in Process Hacker 2, which you could search for. The string was Handle Join Game. Uh, however, that uh, that string has been patched, um, and uh, I do not know if this method that I'm about to show you right now works on the old version, but I know 100% this method works on the current version right here. Um, so I just want to get something out of the way. For anyone who actually says this is ratted, uh, you're actually retarded. The source code is public right here. You can look at it. It's not like, there's no mystery here. You can't really hide a rat like that. It's very difficult to um, to hide a rat when the when the SRC is public. Uh, if you know anything about like anything like that, then then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so let's see what it does. Misplaces uh, people on the screen so you get a reach affecting your opponent. And uh, here, here are the commands. Basically, you don't need to know any of the commands. Uh, it's very simple to detect. You don't even need Process Hacker 2 to detect it. Um, so I'm gonna put the link, or actually I'm gonna copy and paste the download link. Here it is. So new time changer releases download 1.0, time changer 1.0.jar. Enter it. It should download automatically. Click keep. Um, I'm going to open my mods folder right here and my uh, right here and drag this into my mods folder and now if I make Minecraft larger and press play 1.7.10 forge with the time changer 1.0 mod uh, it should be loading up the misplace. You can see OBS right there as well um, as well as some other things on my desktop. Um, anyways we are going to be going on to um let's go on to a single player world here we are in a single player world uh we are on the time changer misplace uh just to prove it i'm gonna go to percent update a percent and go to dot minecraft and go down to mods and as you can see right here time changer 20 kilobytes i'm gonna open with winrar so you guys can see that this is the dugs one that everyone's been using Time to net handler command sunset day etc etc. Um, so the self destruct is right shift and delete. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Uh, and now this de detection method is actually in process hacker too, um, except it's uh, a bit more complicated than what you would expect. It's not just a simple search and look. Um, it's or a search and something comes up. You have to search for something, and there's going to be a certain number of results. And when you search it again with this self destructed, uh, there's going to be a, a different number of results. So right shift and delete. Freeze my game for a second. Should reload the Java W, uh, I believe, um, to remove all most of the strings that, that you can find. Um, now, if you check the mods folder, you can see my time changer is now 15 kilobytes. Um, if you open up Process Hacker 2, which I'm going to have to go to my desktop for because for some reason, Windows 10 doesn't like me searching for it. Uh, search. Okay, so now you're going to search Java W in Process Hacker 2. Go to Properties. Uh, uncheck Hide Free Regions. Go to Strings. Check image and map just because why not? Um, and you're going to be waiting for this to load. There should be like three million strings uh, ish uh, that you should have. Um, and you're going to search for this. You're going to go to contains. You're going to, you're going to type in icu4j core. And there should be 37 or 36 results. Uh, this number doesn't really matter. What matters is the length 136 strings down here. Now, originally, Time Changer used Netty instead of the IC, ICU4J core. Um, so it was a lot easier to... And you can see it actually. You can see it right here. Java jar uh, and then the Time Changer right here. And this is basically it reloading the JVM, I'm pretty sure, uh, when it self-destructs to remove all the strings. Uh, it comes up right here. Now, this shouldn't come up in legit Minecraft. As you can see, there's no other mods here. And I'm actually going to restart the game to show you that it actually does not come up even if you restart with self-destructed. It only comes up on a self-destructed version. And these two down here are basically other signs of the client. Um, so this is ICU4J-Core. What, what you search for, you see Time Changer here. And these two down here are also the cheat. Uh, so now I'm going to restart the game. Um, and I'll be back when it's back up. And you search for IC, ICU4J-Core, you can see that the time changer is no longer there and the ones on the bottom are no longer there. Uh, so yeah, that's a really easy way to detect uh, time changer misplace. Uh, as you can see, the ones on the bottoms weren't there and the, one, the ones on the bottom weren't there 
and the one uh, in the middle that said time changer was not there. For example, if I search time changer to make sure it doesn't come up at all, there should be no results because I'm using a legit time changer. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow's video is a mechanics video. Hope you guys all enjoy, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.